Are you serious? Yo, they know what kind of spells we, they know it. You can't tell me otherwise. They anticipate our moves. You can't tell me they don't. What's poppin' guys? This is your boy Ultimate Speaster, and welcome back to another episode of the Fire and Ice walkthrough series. We are on episode six, and in this episode, I picked up the mission to do Colossus Boulevard. The last street I believe that we actually have to do, one of the main streets rather, and I already picked it up tomorrow, so let's get started. Thank goodness the headmaster sent a wizard to aid us. We could really use your help. Strange creatures have taken over Colossus Boulevard. We don't know where they came from, but they eat everything in sight. We call them gobblers. I admire you wizards. My niece studies ice magic at Ravenwood, but I'm worried about her. She said she was doing some school project on Colossus Boulevard, but I don't know why she has to do it now. Would you go speak to her and see if she needs any help? Her name is Mindy Pixie Crown. I love them school projects. On the way, we wearing the right fit too. It gets a little chilly, a little chilly. All right, and we since we're learning fire and ice, we can handle the ice minions pretty easily. We already learned fire elf. Got fire cat in hand. You feel me? The very good thing about it is we're gonna have the health of an ice wizard, and the ice wizards are super tanky. That's so sweet of my uncle to send you. I'm so glad you came too. I've been doing some ice research for Professor Gray Rose, but I had to stop. I really need your help. This is horrible. First the gobblers showed up and started eating everything in sight, and then these evil snowmen? They're all over the place. Tell me about we it. We must get rid of them, but there are so many. Hey, I know. Why don't you defeat some of them and see if that will chase the rest away? Light work, baby, light work. The snowmen are up here. Yo, I need to kill two of you, so hop through. Two uh, other enemies join in this area. Shouldn't be too difficult though. Should be pretty easy. Ice traps are kind of useless in this area. Like, they'll do damage, but not as much. When they shield though, it is gonna be a bit of an issue. So it'll be best if we kill before they can shield. Unless I use elf, but elf is two pips. So it kind of just depends. You see, like this won't kill. We should just shield right now. Yeah, you see, okay, yeah. And that's a negative 80. So that's the only like dilemma. Now, if I get snow, not snow surfing. If I get uh, elf, then that wouldn't really be a problem. You feel me? I'm gonna see how much this do. We got three pips and a shield, so we're not like open right now. That did really good. That did really good right there. So the resist is not a lot. Overtime. Alright. Now, I think I only got six uh, resists across the board, <laughs> which isn't nothing right now. It's trash. But it's alright. Then fizzle. That's what I'm talking about. Let's get it. Say. You got killed by ice, my guy. Frosty the snowman. I get rid of this, really? I get rid of stun too. Why not? Uh, I, I really want elf. But should I hit him with this now and then back up with elf? Let's try that out. Let's see if we pull elf next. Oh, he can cast it like Snow Serpent if he does that. But he probably will do Beetle. 
Okay, yeah, he, he wasted all his pips, sorry. He did a bit, but we got a lot of health, though, so that's the thing. There we go, elf. That's what I'm talking about. Over time. Ooh, baby. <laughs> Getting toasty in here. Sad. I didn't know they actually, like, speak. That was my first time hearing their, like, voice. So, uh, I could really just pass. But we're not going to do that today. I fizzled anyway, so just pass. He's dead. That was used for those. Now I just gotta kill the other dudes. I think they're myth, not myth, balance. Here they are. Finally found the right guys. I actually, I actually ran into a wrong fight. <laughs> the wrong people. I fought the scouts when I wasn't supposed to. That 208 damage only got a little bit of damage increase from my gear, but just a little bit though. Uh, this ain't really gonna help. Tower shield dance, little thing. When dance, fizzle your trash. GG. Two hundred and fourteen damage, wiped out, and their life. So. Well, that didn't seem to make a dent in those gobblers at all. They're still eating the city. Be hungry. Go speak with Professor Gray Rose. Maybe she will know what to do. I'll try to keep their damage to a minimum. All right. Gotta leave a marker. Got to. Oh dear, I was afraid of that. It was an accident. I didn't mean to summon those gobblers. And those evil snowmen aren't doing a thing to help. They're actually causing more trouble. The biggest problem with gobblers is that they're always hungry. Let's try brewing a potion to make them lose their appetite. The snowmen, we'll deal with later. Here is a list of ingredients for the potion. Take it back to Minty Pixie Crown on Colossus Boulevard. Appreciate it. A magic potion? Excellent idea. I'll begin working on this list she gave us. I'll set up the cauldron for the potion here. Can you get the first ingredient? It's called stinkweed. You can find that growing right here in Colossus Boulevard. Go gather some for me. No problem. One. Two. Three. Weed really does stink. I know I've lost my appetite. That's all I need. I'll brew the potion now. Here's the first batch of potion, young wizard. Hopefully, this will make the gobblers stop eating. While I'm making more, go beat some gobblers in combat and make them drink the stinkweed potion. Now I gotta fight them. I was fighting them at the wrong time. I need to keep an eye on my mana since it's so low. <laughs> like, I'll lose it very quickly. Okay, see, they got way more health than the guys was fighting earlier. Got to put on a trap this time. Alright, boom. You got this. He should be dead. Let's hope he's dead. Is he dead? He dead. He's dead. Dead-ish. Dead lead. Oh, he is. I think now like five more than his health. I forgot what his health was. How did I forget that clip? <laughs> I think it's like 235 though. Or 265. 235. Yep. All right, cool. We can do just the same method. That's all we got to do. Put on a trap and then snow serpent. Easy dubs, easy wins. Don't do it. Okay, I thought you about to put on like the elemental shields. I'd be like, how did you even learn that? Sir. 
Frosty. Did the same amount of damage, too. That was pretty quick. <laughs> like, it was super easy. All done? Excellent. Let's see if the potion had any effect. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say the potion didn't quite work. I don't want to bother the headmaster. I know. The Gobbler King lives in the large palace at the very end of the street. Maybe we can reason with him. I'll try to brew a stronger potion. See if you can make a deal with the Gobbler King to stop eating and leave the city. I doubt it. I doubt he's going to want to do it because it's too dope over here. Everybody wants Wizard City. I don't know why, but it's dope to everybody around here. You'll have to get past me if you want to see the king. Okay. Is he floating? How is he floating? How is that physically possible? And never mind his magic. He got 600. His buddy got like 285. Okay. I'm definitely going to have to do some fire damage. Fire elf got to arrive. Especially for the boss. Uh, I get hit. It'll bring it down to like 270 though. I can do a wand hit, however, which should kill him off. Okay, yeah, that did less for some reason. Was it the different card? Fizzle for me? No. How do you not fizzle? Yeah, this would be okay. Yeah, th this would definitely kill him off. Definitely. Now I just got the boss left. Fizzle trash. Garbage. I need the shield, if anything. Um, I don't need both of them right now. This tower shield. I got a power pip. How do I need a power pip? I'm not gonna complain about it though. He got rid of that shield immediately. <laughs> like he knew it was gonna happen. He like not today, good sir. That fire amulet we got on, that mastery, is gonna do tremendous things in this walkthrough. I wonder if I could learn Fire Trap. Like, if I could learn the actual spell itself. I hope so. Here we go. Alright, bring down some more. Alright, piece by piece. Don't shield. Okay, I don't really think they shield. I could shield though. Can I stun him? I can't cause I fizzled. That's rough. Okay, he could have done something way worse. He decided not to though. We can finish him off with this. He only got 84 health. I can't do that either. Okay, why is this turning around on me like this? If I die over this stupidness right now, I'm quitting Wiz. Definitely. No doubt about it. There we go. That did just enough too. For some reason, I only did like one more than his health. A tiny wizard. Hello, tiny wizard. Have you come to surrender your city? Uh, no, sir. You want us to leave? Oh, no. No, no, no. My people love it here. We shall call this city New Gobbleton. 
If you prove to be good servants, perhaps we shall let the tiny wizard stay in New Gobbleton. Here is my royal decree. You pick up the royal decree to take back to Mindy Pixie Crown. I can't even get mad because he's funny. <laughs> like, I can't. I can't. The Gobbler King wants us to surrender Wizard City? Big problem. Big problem. Yeah, it's getting a little rough. I can't believe the Gobblers are trying to claim Wizard City. We need to tell Headmaster Ambrose. Take the Gobbler King's royal decree to Headmaster Ambrose. See what he thinks we should do. All right. Ambrose the homie. I don't mind visiting Ambrose because he's a dope dude. What? This decree doesn't even make sense. It's just pictures of ice cream and chickens drawn in crayon. Headmaster Ambrose shakes his head sadly. The gobblers may be a larger problem than we realized. I hate to ask, but you need to go duel some of them to test their strength. Nice. And we got some boots. Not better than our boots we got on now, Playboy. Okay, I think those just the beefiest ones out of all of them, to be honest. I think now the last enemy type that we have to fight. Good. Now that we know how strong the gobblers are, I have a plan. Please deliver this letter to Mindy Pixie Crown for me. Your hard work will pay off, I promise. Headmaster Ambrose hands you an official looking document. Okay. Document say. Mindy Pixie Crown reads the official looking document. I think this plan will work. This plan calls for challenging the Gobbler King's two closest advisors, Baron Greebly and Baron Rotunda. Uh -huh. Dueling isn't my strength, so you're the only one who can do this, young wizard. They're each hiding out in towers, one at each end of the street. Defeat them and see what the Gobbler King has to say then. Assassination contract. And we leveled up, baby. You say. Level 11? Yeah. I think we can actually go to Kragatopia real soon. I need to do actually a lot of side quests. You know, like a lot of like the tedious little stuff. Like the little Grizzleheim mission. Um, I think I got to talk to Penny as well. But I don't think she really gives anything important. I forgot like what mission it takes for us to go to Skunkin City. Unless we're summoned for that. Unless we called in for that. You've come to take away my treats? I can't allow that to battle. Why is everybody ice? It makes sense though. We're on the icy street. Still though. Okay, you only got 500. Isn't that bad at all? Fire Elf is saving us right now. All right, not bad. Shield, you really would shield him. Sweaty boy, sweaty boy. It would be incredible if I could learn Fire Blade and Ice Blade. Well, they combine the boys together, a Fire and Ice Blade. I guess that's the point of the Elemental Blades. But just it being one together would look cool. Um, I could do this. Should I do this? Just to bring his health down enough to kill him off with it. Like, it'll be reduced enough. To where it'll add up later on. 
Okay, yeah, one more round, and he's out. I'm not worried about him anymore. Uh, this boss, however, I gotta deal with. I can shield. Fire cat next, maybe, or something else. I don't know. Are you serious? Yo, they know what kind of spells we, they know it. You can't tell me otherwise. They anticipate our moves. You can't tell me they don't. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, go ahead, fire cap. We gotta really use fire spells a lot than ice ones. Obviously, cause they're ice. We can still use the ice ones. Their resist isn't that heavy. Why can't y'all cast storm? I got a storm shield. I would appreciate if y'all casted a storm spell, eh? eh? Nothing crazy like Kraken though. Kraken wouldn't make sense. Oh god, he's still living. Why am I like barely killing them? This won't kill him either. He got too much resist, do we? I gotta reach 22. 34, we did it. Was it time for dinner yet? You look like you would make a good stew. Get over here. Okay, you scorpion copycat. This ain't gonna be that rough. I hope so. I say that now. Then I give up to oblivion. He not even I can wipe him out right now. It's light work, baby. I can apparently cause I fizzled. Fizzling bothers me when I have like an exact plan in mind. Like, oh, I'm about to kill him off first round, baby. <laughs> Easy light work, baby. Then that happens. It's treacherous. Treacherous out here. Yeah, pass, buddy boy. You can pass too. You can fizzle. How you fizzle life? You feel me? This ain't gonna do it. This ain't gonna kill him, I think. Well, uh, it, uh, it might. Yeah, it did, definitely. Payday! Uh, da -da -dum, da -da -dum. Da -da -dun. With that on him. Do I learn blade at like 16? Whenever I learn it, I need to learn it. Soon. Oh, this gives 20? Oh, so we about to have a 20 freaking 100%. On a nice spell, it's over with. Yes, sir. Can't fizzle, it's over with. That's what I don't be understanding. Why do they have literally, he has seven health. How do they be surviving? I'm like barely killing them right now. Is it because I'm ice? I'm confused. Ne oh no, we can't change the necklace. We ain't changing this necklace ever in life. Until we hit like 130. Cause then I got a better um, amulet. They get like health and still fire mastery. 
Ah, the little wizard is back. Are you ready to surrender now? You tell the Gobbler King about your battles with Barons Greebly and Rotunda. What? You defeated them? I find that hard to believe. I'll have to send someone to find out if what you say is true or not. Just as the Gobbler King is getting ready to call, a messenger breaks into the room. Sir, the two barons have been defeated by a student wizard. What shall we do? Oh dear, what you said is true. Then that means no Gobbleton, a wizard city, is yours. Spare me and my people, wizard. We mean you no harm. I ask that we are allowed to stay here. Our old home was filled with witches, and we are too scared to go back. I promise we will not eat so much. You have my word. This makes sense with the new world of caramel junk. Makes complete sense. I didn't leave a marker, no! She ain't far from it, though. Amazing, young wizard. You have brought peace with the gobblers. You've done a great job. Be sure to tell Headmaster Ambrose what the Gobbler King said. Now I can get back to my project. Good luck. Try to get an A, please. Get an A. I risked my life for that project. My plan worked. Oh, that's excellent news. You tell Headmaster Ambrose what the Gobbler King said about their home world. My, my. I certainly don't want to force them to go back to a world where they aren't welcome. Very well. We will let them stay on Colossus Boulevard. It appears we have new neighbors. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed episode six of the Fire Nice walkthrough. If you haven't already, make sure you like and subscribe and tap that notification bell for the fresh and crispy Wizard 101 and Pirate 101 content. Thank you if you stayed all the way to the end. I really appreciate all the love and support. Our Twitter, Instagram, and Discord are all down in the description below. Make sure you follow Discord because there'll be contests on there. And they're super easy to enter, so make sure you join. Also go live every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Y'all stay safe and cool out there. I'll see y'all later. Peace.